Dear students, after studying this module, you shall be able to have a basic knowledge of dendrimers and you shall be also knowing about the preparation of dendrimers, learning about the physical properties and characterization of dendrimers, host guest chemistry of dendrimers and supramolecular dendrimers assemblies. You shall be learning about all this and you shall be also taking a note of application of dendrimers in medical field. Now let us introduce you the topic of dendrimers which is a subclass of supramolecular chemistry. Dendrimer is taken from a Greek word dendron which means tree and meros denoting part. Since the monomer exhibits a repetitive branching pattern which is responsible for the unique character, dendrimers are highly branched three-dimensional architecture based structures which are synthesized by monodispersed macromolecules. A dendrimer has a tree-like fashion type of structure which is grown from a central core. Now you can see here in this figure the structure of a dendrimer. Size and structure of dendrimers that is our next point of study. Dendrimers are usually nanometers to tens of nanometers in size. Comparatively the general size of a dendrimer is larger than a typically closed fullerene having a diameter of 0.7 nanometer and smaller than a amino microsphere that is having a diameter between 0.1 to 10 micrometers. Actually the size of dendrimer depends upon the number of steps which are used for them as building as dendrimers are constructed by stepwise connection of several parts. Now you can see here the size of dendrimers and how they change depending on how many steps are there in the building process. Structurally a dendrimer begins with a multifunctional core. Numerous molecules like ammonia, pentaerythritol, benzene, admantane, porphyrin or even fullerene can be used as dendrimer cores. From this core an oligomer is generated by the attachment of multifunctional repeating unit with a core functional group. This oligomer contained a central core and a number of functionalized pendant arms. This is the first generation dendrime. That is the first step to generating a dendrimer based structure. If the second monomer unit is attached with functional group of the first generation material, a much larger and highly branched dendrimer is formed. This is the second generation dendrimer. A well defined three dimensional polymeric dendrimer can be built by this iterative process. Now you can see the built up of generations of a particular dendrimer, the first generation as well as the second generation. Now let us come down to the topic of synthesis of dendrimers. Two strategies have been proposed for the preparation of dendrimers. First one is the divergent method which describes the successful attachment of one set of branching units characterized by their multiplicity to the central core. Numerous reactions are performed on the same molecule. At least a coupling and a deprotection step is required in successive additions of each generation so that growth occurs at a rate of one generation at a time rather than by uncontrolled polymerization. Thus many synthetic pitfalls are avoided during dendrimer synthesis by using this divergent method. Now in this figure it is clearly seen the synthesis of dendrimers by using divergent methods. Next method for the synthesis of uh, dendrimers is the conversion method and it includes the building of dendrimers by starting from the outside. In this type of a method separate fragments are built for the dendrimer synthesis and in the final step all fragments are linked to a common core. Thus number of individual reaction steps are reduced for a single molecule reaction. 
We can understand this by an example shown in the figure. You can see that in the first step, three monomeric units are connected. Next, other monomeric units are connected with two of these three monomers. A large part of dendrimer increases due to the step wise coupling and finally it is fused together to build up a spherical dendrimer. Now you can see this in this figure synthesis of a dendrimer by using a convergent method of synthesis. Various structures of dendrimers can be prepared in stepwise processes. The synthesis of block type dendrimer is shown to you in the figure. For the synthesis of a block type dendrimer, one side of the central molecule is activated, then hemispherical dendrimer is selectively formed. These type of processes provide half and half type dendrimers. For the synthesis of amphiphilic block type dendrimers, the hydrophilic groups and hydrophobic groups are introduced separately. This type of dendrimer forms a monolayer on the surface of water. Now you can see this in this figure, the structure and synthesis of a block type dendrimer and schematic description of a block type dendrimer monolayer on the surface of water. Now coming down to the star shaped dendrimers, these can be synthesized by using stepwise dendrimer growth and subsequent linear polymerization protocol. This is shown to you in the figure. A dendrimer with oligosaccharide chains on its outer surface was produced. This type of dendrimer is densely covered with sugar residues, thus providing it ball-like shape and therefore it is known as sugar ball. The sugar ball is a useful method for investigation of sugar-based biological recognition processes such as virus binding. Here you can see in this figure a star shaped dendrimer and how it looks like. Now coming down to the topic of characterization of dendrimers after having studied the synthesis of dendrimers. It is tough to determine the purity of a dendrimer. It is percentage of defect fee dendrimer due to their large size and high symmetry. Various characterization techniques such as elemental analysis, chromatography, chromatography specifically HPLC, NMR spectroscopy are used. But small amount of impurities are generally not exposed in higher generation dendrimers. Some other methods such as mass spectroscopy, modern ionization techniques like electrospray ionization ESI and matrix assisted laser desorption ionization that is MALDI are widely used for the determination of the purity of a dendrimer. We can understand the characterization of a dendrimer through ESI MS spectrum of the fifth generation polypropylene imine dendrimer as shown to you in the figure. The dendritic purity at each stage may be calculated by an iterative procedure by using the knowledge of mass spectra of all previous generations of the particular dendrimer. The simulated spectrum which agrees well with experiment gives a polydispersity index of 1.002. This is equal to MW by MN that is the ratio of observed versus theoretical molecular weight and the dendritic purity of 23%. Here it is showing to you in this figure the experimental and calculated ESI MS spectra of polypropylene imine dendrimers. Now come down to the topic of physical properties of dendrimer students. We have studied the synthesis characterization. Now we shall focus upon the physical properties. Physical property wise dendrimers depend on the nature of the component groups and the interactions between them to a large extent. The surface density and the number of available functional groups of dendrimer can be reduced due to backfolding of dendrimers. Indeed, there is an entropic penalty in adopting an open, extended and porous structure. In high molecular weight compounds, solution properties of linear macromolecules 
differ as compared to dendrimers. The molecular weight of a dendrimer increases exponentially and the volume occupied by a dendrimer increases cubically with every generation. This means the viscosity of dendrimer does not increase with molecular mass but reaches a maximum at a certain limiting generation. The size of dendrimer also depends on the solvent. The dendrimers adopt a more open structure in solvents for which they have a high affinity. So these were the physical properties of dendrimer students. Let us now study the application of dendrimers. Dendrimers are applied in various useful syntheses and properties like supramolecular assemblies, nano devices, magnetic resonance imaging MRI, electron transformation, drug delivery etc. First we will study about the applications of supramolecular dendrimer assemblies. Dendrimers can also be assembled non-covalently. Fretchet type dendrimers have been used for this strategy. Fretchet type dendrimers is appended to a double isothalic acid functionalized molecular cleft. Isothalic acid is self complementary and forms a hexagonal assembly of 6 units. This is shown to you in this figure. You can see here the hexameric assembly of dendrons by isothalic acid hydrogen bonding interactions. The highly stable assembly is obtained due to the presence of two hexagonal units and their ins insulation from the surrounding medium by a dendrimer portion. Fretchet type dendrimers have also been used as ligands for lanthanide 3 ions in a novel variation of the convergence strategy using focal point functionalized dendrons. This is shown here in this figure. You can see here the lanthanide 3 ion containing dendrimer. In this type of dendrimer assembled supramolecule, the focal point is a carboxylate moiety. It is an excellent ligand for the oxophilic lanthanides. Lanthanide fluorescence is improved by the isolation final of the lanthanide ion and the antenna effects of the dendrons. These kinds of species are reminiscent of the light harvesting and conversion devices. The complex as metals complex as ligand strategy is an excellent way to prepare metallodendrimers. Now let us study the dendritic nano devices. Organic dendrimers such as the nanostar dendrimer shown to you in the figure exhibits energy transfer and light harvesting properties because of their fully delocalized nature which allows orbital overlap and hence dexter type excitation transfer. Dendritic cascade type coordination complexes also showed light energy transfer properties in which light energy is transferred from the outside of an inorganic dendrimer to a core chromophore. This type of process mimics the energy transfer cascade in natural photosynthesis. The emission intensity of nanostar dendrimer which is based on a perylene chromophore is 400 times greater than that of the control molecule ethanyl perylene. This is shown here in the figure. You can see the nanostar dendrimer and its structure. What about dendrimers in electron transformation? Now let us study this. A dendrimer can be made to induce adsorption of counter ionized functional molecules after attachment with ionized groups on the outer surface of a dendrimer. Anionic groups containing porphyrin dendrimer have been shown to absorb the electron acceptor methyl vialogen that is MV2 plus. This is shown here in the figure. You can see the electron transfer via a dendrimer core. Electron transfer is induced by the photo excitation of the central porphyrin to the absorbed methyl vialogens. The size of the dendrimer also affects the transfer of an electron. As the size of the dendrimer tends to increase, electron back transfer gets effectively suppressed and a long-lived electron separation state is achieved. 
the number of units increases towards the outside of the molecule. The dendrimeric structure becomes useful for the functions such as accumulating energy on the outside and passing it to the center. This dendrimer function mimics the light harvesting process associated with photosynthesis. We can understand this concept by considering isomerization of azobenzene by energy collection. As shown in the figure you can see, infrared light excites the benzene groups in each unit. The transformation of the central azobenzene from a cis configuration to a trans form is induced by the collected energy. Without the dendrimer shell, this transformation cannot be achieved by irradiating azobenzene. This is because sufficient energy is not passed to azobenzene which can be accumulated by it and cause the transformation. This takes place due to energy loss through molecular collisions. Now in this figure you can see the isomerization of azobenzene through energy collection. Let us now study the dendrimer and its role in magnetic resonance imaging and its application in the same. Dendrimer devices are also useful in magnetic resonance imaging applications. The dendrimers act as carriers for paramagnetic gadolinium 3 plus ions. A large number of gadolinium 3 plus ions can be bound per dendrimer molecule. The resonance time of the dendrimer lanthanide conjugate in the bloodstream is thus increased due to the large size of dendrimer and this particular factor or property allows the radiologist to perform more detailed imaging studies. Moreover, the relaxation properties of gadolinium 3 plus ions are dramatically improved compared to small molecule analogues. Attachment of the exterior surface of the dendrimer also allows a significant degree of biological recognition between the contrast agent and the target site. Another biological application of dendritic nanodevices is their correlation antibody assays. The regular spacing between antibody and solid support introduced by replacing a secondary antibody spacer with a dendrimer reduces non-specific interactions between an immobilized antibody and an analyte and this improves manufacturing properties to a great extent. Dendrimers have also been used as vectors. It carries genetic in material into cells and as anti-cancer agents after combining with platinum-based anti-cancer drugs such as cisplatin. The cancer cells are more permeable to the large dendrimers than the normal cells which are non-cancerous. The high density of surface functionality of dendrimer allows it to build multivalent interactions between functionalized dendrimer and the biomolecules. This feature of dendrimer has been used in the bonding of dendrimer saccharide conjugates to proteins such as lectins. The viral inhibition activity improved after the multiple interactions of the same. Dendrimers also play an important role as a drug delivery agent for therapeutic drugs. The specific property of a dendrimer makes it possible to bind those guests and then let them dissociate at a known rate. This control release property makes dendrimers very potential as candidates as drug delivery agents. This is shown to you in figure. So this property of controlled release of therapeutic drugs by a dendrimer can be used by doctors in various in treatment of various diseases. So students in this module we have studied from the synthesis to physical properties to the application of dendrimers. So here I would like to summarize this module. Dendrimer is tree shaped compound which has branch type functional groups which makes it appropriately analogous to a molecular tree. Dendrimers are synthesized by divergent and convergent methods. Also we taught you that dendrimers are characterized by NMR mass spectroscopy, electrospray ionization and matrix assisted laser desorption ionization that is MALDI 
mass technique. Then dimers are also widely applicable as carrier agents in various types of biologically active compounds and in MRI etc. So you can understand how dendrimers play a very crucial role in various medical fields and other fields also. So students, I hope with this module you shall be able to appreciate supramolecular chemistry to a greater extent.